down well. Maybe you go left, maybe you go right, maybe you jump, I don't know. Downwell starts off by showing you three buttons, and that's all you need to play this game. It's definitely challenging in that way that all modern platformers are challenging nowadays, especially when you get into the post-game hard mode. Dying takes you right back to the start of the game. All of the items are entirely RNG based. You don't know what's going to be in a room. You don't know what you're going to get between stages when they give you a selection of items to pick from. It's challenging, but not cruel. This is a game that rewards finesse. It's a game that I start off and I was going very slow from ledge to ledge, focusing on taking out every monster that I could find. But a few hours in, I'm getting more into what the game wanted me to do, which is this is a game that never actually wants you to touch the ground. You see, landing actually refreshes the limited number of ammo that you have. So you shoot a bit, you bounce off something, you replenish your ammo. You fall a bit more, you can land on strategically placed little items in there, land on other enemies, some enemies you can't touch but you can only shoot, some enemies you can't shoot but you have to land on. It's a game that wants you to master it and it isn't going to punish you when you haven't mastered it yet. The game has a number of intuitive ways that it teaches you to play it very well. From the color scheme, you can touch white things but not red things or the way that a number pops up over your head when you've gone a while without landing. This game has a really great learning curve and introduces new concepts gradually, so it seems like a natural progression. This is definitely a retro looking game, but very smooth animation, and you can unlock a variety of color schemes, so it can even end up looking exactly like it would have looked if it were released on the original Game Boy. The downside is there's not a whole lot here. There's only four distinct stages, but it is a $3 game. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is still a great value. And I really like that the four stages do feel very different from each other. I really enjoyed Downwell for the bit of short but dense retro fun that it was. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Also check out our tips and tricks for Downwell or you can see our reviews for other games. Thanks for watching. It's and bit. What can you check out our blah blah blah? God damn it. Bleh.